everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to start with color correcting around my eyes using Rimmel Perfect Match, Match Perfection. This is color soft beige. Been using this one a lot lately. Almost running out. I'm still trying to make up my mind on what look we should do today. What I do know is that I want to use one of my Chi Chi palettes. Eyes are corrected. I'm just going to set the under eye a little bit before I start. Chi Chi palette. Let's use the classics. So this is the palette. These are the colors. Let's create something with this one. Hmm. I think I know. Okay, so I'm going to be using my fingers for some of this tutorial. So starting off with that peachy shade, so this one here, place that onto the lid. Very nice and pigmented. Okay, then on top of that base color, I'm going to go in with uh, this shade here. Pack it on top, on the outer edge, and it'll soften that peach even more. So then after the peach, I'm going to go in with this uh, lavender shade. Again, using my fingers. I'm just going to pat that towards the outer corner. Alright, so I like to use my fingers when I'm just doing washes of color. I want to maintain that V shape and I want it to be nice and clean. So, I'm going to be using some magic tape. So again, even though it's less sticky, you're still going to put it on the back of your hand just a couple of times to make it even less sticky. And then we're going to place it onto the eye following the bottom lash line as a guide. I'm going to go in with the uh, this burgundy shade here. I'm going to place that onto the outer V and into the crease that champagne color peachy color that I put at the start has a really nice gold shimmer and it's matching really well with this burgundy shade all right so now that we've got the V we are of course going to blend the upper part completely. Now once it's blended that a little bit, we're going to take... Oh no, my tape's coming off. Um, we're going to take the lightest shade in this palette and we're going to place that under the brow bone and use that to blend burgundy as well into pretty much nothing now go back in if you need to darken that crease with your burgundy color and to darken it even more I'm gonna go in with that navy this guy here And then back in with your blending brush, blend the edges out. You see that thing there? That's a scar. It keeps pu putting me off every time I do my makeup. When I was a kid, like all kids, I ran into the corner of the table and split my eye. Ah, okay. Now, we are going to go in with a navy liner. All right, so going in with a navy liner, I'm using pretty old pencil from L'Oreal. It is Pencil Perfect in Paris Blue. And we're just going to line the top lash line with that color. Now I'm taking the liner out, 
be quite a exaggerated line. I like to do that to elongate my eyes. I thought this tape would have been better, but it's not. All right, so when I draw my liner, basically when I close my eye, the liner is this um, triangular shape. So the line starts from here, ends up here, and then I fill the rest in. Same thing on the other eye. Every time I do eyeliner, one eye is always perfect. The other one just mucks up. In a home. All right, so now that the liner is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. I'm going to admit this tape is not the best. It, um, yeah, it stopped being sticky. Now I'm gonna go in with a, uh, just a cotton bud and clean up those edges. If the tape has failed you, like it did for me a little bit. All right, so I'm going to set that liner with the navy eyeshadow. I'm using an angled brush. Now whilst I'm setting it, I'm also filling in any gaps, fixing up any lines. I want to darken that crease a little bit more. So using the same navy, navy shadow with a crease brush, I'm going to put in some more blend that crease into the lid a little bit more with the shade here okay now for the bottom lash line i'm going to go in with this nude eyeliner this is by rimmel scandalize in nude and i'm going to line just underneath here now the reason i'm aligning underneath is because I'm gonna come in with a burgundy shade and I'm gonna set this nude eyeliner um, with the burgundy shade and that's gonna make the eyeshadow last longer as an eyeliner at the same time I'm going to line the bottom waterline and I'm going to Put this nude liner just underneath the navy liner kind of cleaning up the area there and brightening the outside corner of the eye like so with an angled brush something like this and pick up this beautiful burgundy shade here and we're going to use it to set that nude eyeliner. Just the um, eyeliner that's on the lash line, not the waterline. Now, of course, if you have a matching eyeliner, pencil liner with this color, go ahead and use that. I don't, so yeah. I'm just going to use my nude liner and then set it with the eyeshadow. Feathering out the edge here of the bottom liner. I remember reading somewhere that Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist would create that shadow on the bottom lash line because it was kind of an illusion that her long lashes would cast shadows onto her um, bottom lash line so so yeah there is a basis to this madness cool now for the inner part i'm gonna go in back to that champagne color we used at the start and i'm just going to place it right at the uh, beginning here blend that with the burgundy taking that champagne color making sure that it comes around 
the tear duct and just to contrast that champagne color I'm going to go in back with the navy liner that we used and I'm just going to place it just in the corner of the tear duct and that will make that champagne color pop and also give more definition to your eye now be careful you don't want to you don't want to take it onto the nude liner on the waterline we're just putting it in the inner corner here and I'm not tight lining the top with this color because it's going to transfer onto my nude liner which I don't want okay so at this point I am going to do my brows all right now to finish off the rest of the face going to use a new one it is the covergirl flamed out it's a new one it's supposed to give your lashes amazing volume let's see what it does it's quite a wet consistency the brush is very chunky it's one coat I don't know if I like it I don't know if I like the hour shape the hourglass shape that it has. I guess it gives some volume. I just find it hard to comb it through. And I'm just gonna put myself out of this misery and just go to my trusty plump crusher and finish off with that one. All right, so this is the finished look. I hope you like it. If you do, please like my video, comment, subscribe keep in touch let's fluff up this hair give it some volume so yeah this is it i hope you liked it let me know and i'll see you next time see you guys